Welcome back. It is now 615. Businesses have reopened throughout the state while cases of the coronavirus continue to rise. And some smaller businesses may be worried about potential lawsuits from exposing someone to the virus. And joining us this morning is State Senator Andreas Borges to talk about the importance of protecting those businesses from potential lawsuit and the legislation that he has uh, introduced. Uh, Senator, thank you and welcome this morning. It's great to be on the show. Thank you. Uh, can you first just dive right in and talk a little bit about the legislation and what you're introducing and how it adds that type of protection? Certainly. Um, back in April and May, one of my concerns as vice chair of the Senate Judiciary Committee is how we're going to responsibly reignite our economy. Nothing would send a stronger chilling effect if a small business would be subjected to a COVID-19 transmission related lawsuit. And it takes only a, a little bit of imagination to, uh, to, to theorize that opportunistic attorneys uh, would be looking to create class actions uh, to, uh, uh, to, uh, to achieve uh, litigation victories. And so what I, I decided to do is I wrote a letter to the governor on a bipartisan, bicameral basis, asking him to expand executive authority to help protect uh, our businesses as we restart our, our economy. Mm -hmm. And I ended up joining up with an organization called Kayla, Citizens Against Lawsuit Abuse. And what this piece of legislation that's being run through the assembly is that if you have 25 or fewer employees and uh, an individual alleges that they received uh, uh, COVID from their place of business or through their place of business, either through the employer or the employee, that certain business protections be established. And that's what this does. Now, it's not a blanket. Um, it is. It requires that the business implement and abide by uh, the health protocols of the state or the county, whichever is relevant. But for the duration of the emergency, we need to support our economy, support our businesses, and offering these business protections from legal uh, liability is, I think, a start in the right direction. Uh, is it a confusing uh, uh, sort of a, a piece of legislation from the standpoint that there are some businesses that are basically confused about some of the governor's orders? You know, can I reopen? Do I reopen? It, does it sort of blanket cover all of those situations? This is a terribly confusing time. Now, I represent 11 counties from Death Valley to Sacramento, but I'm based in Fresno, so I'm a Valley kid just like you. Um, I have never seen a scenario where uh, government activity has created more confusion in the economy, in the school setting, uh, in an everyday life. So that's one thing that I think is terribly frustrating. And what we need to concentrate on, in my opinion, are the two things, making certain that the health and welfare of the public is looked after and maintained. The second is supporting in reasonable and sustainable ways um, our economic engines, supporting our economy in our small businesses. Mm -hmm. So I think those are not mutually exclusive pursuits and they can be done simultaneously. And that is what this legislation does and what other pieces of legislation are doing as they're moving through the legislative process in Sacramento. Senator, we are out of time, but real quickly, uh, where is the legislation now and what kind of timetable do you have to hopefully push this through? We were forcibly recessed last week because of COVID for another for another two weeks. So it's being introduced in the assembly. If it passes, it will go to the Senate and ultimately to the governor uh, should he uh, should he approve it. But we're building a groundswell on a bipartisan and bicameral basis. We need public support because we know that this is responsible and sustainable mm -hmm. policy. OK, Senator Andreas Borges joining us this morning to talk about this. We appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank you. Great to be on the show.